<clears throat> okay, so first off, hello everyone. Um, long time no see, no big grandiose intro, no none of that because I just finished watching The Joker. First off, this movie's not for everybody. And if you have children, don't take them to this. Secondly, I will be doing movie reviews sporadically via my phone uh, until I really figure out what I'm going to do and all that stuff. Um, but hello, nation. Long time no see. The Joker. Yeah, again, not at all for everybody. Secondly, Joaquin Phoenix. Wow. Um, he is genuinely one of our best actors ever, definitely, currently. The cinematography, the, the lighting, the textures of the colors, and just the, from the start with Arthur to the end. Look, I'm not going to give no spoilers away. I know a lot of people are, but I'm not. I really, really encourage you to give this movie a chance because a lot of people saying, oh, violence, et cetera, et cetera. Just go check the movie out. I've seen much more violent movies. Much more violent. But holy shit. Holy shit. I, 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 I am bubbling with excitement and sickness right now. I am sickened at how this movie went towards the end. But yet, it leaves me with that really awesome feeling at the same time. But I am a sick individual, so... Uh... Jesus, I don't even know where to begin! I'm standing outside of the theater right now, and the cop who's parked over there is probably looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. But, oops, oops. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> I... Oh my god, this movie was so freaking good! And I, I, I honestly... I'm giving you my initial unfiltered reaction. I, I've i literally just walked out of the theater maybe 10 minutes ago trying to formulate what I want to say, but it's so chaotic in my brain right now. And I guess that'd be kind of akin to what Joker would be like, right? Just chaotic, no real thought behind it, just... Okay, so... Joaquin Phoenix. Fantastic. If this man does not get an Oscar nomination... I'm sorry for the shaky cam, I really suck. If he does not get an Oscar nomination, that is a tragedy in of itself. He should win. And I know a lot of people have said that, and it's become repetitive, but it's true. After seeing this movie, it is so, so true. Everyone in this movie was good and serviceable. Um, Robert De Niro, as little as he had to do in this movie, was uh, he's Robert De Niro, okay? I, I, I mean, at this point, we know Robert Niro's. Um, a lot of ta a lot of taken from Taxi Driver. Uh, if you've seen that movie, a lot taken from that in this movie. Again, I'm not going to go into spoilers, but Jesus, seeing the transformation of Arthur Fleck into Joker is awesome. This is definitely a slow burn movie. So if you're not into those, if you're expecting some sort of action or, or something of that. It's not going to happen, guys, and I apologize, but just, just take this movie for what it is. This is definitely not your, your average comic book movie. Oh my god, it's, it's just so freaking good. It is, it is easily my favorite movie of the year, and it's going to take me a little bit but I'm going to go see the movie again. I'm going to come see this movie again at some point. <laughs> um, I'm going to let it digest. I'm going to let it kind of just marinate. But man, the way this movie was shot, just everything about this movie is so, so good. And I'm so glad that Warner Brothers took a chance at doing this movie. And yes, the movie's gotten a lot of flack. Yes, the movie has been... Um, hated on and, and rightfully so they, this movie like I said it's not going to be for everybody there are things that people are going to have issues with do I think this movie glorifies violence? no I think this movie is showing you what mental illness and the way society can beat people down who have those issues can ultimately turn out no I don't think this movie is going to make people go and try to kill other people I don't um, like I said, there have been movies far more violent, far worse than this that I've seen. This is not that. But 
it is, it is not for everyone and it can be a lot to stomach for some people. So if you do go go it, go to see it, caution, you're in for something different. It's not action. It's a slow burn. It's definitely a character study of a mental, mentally ill individual who's just really got horrible luck. Uh, again, and I'm, I'm going to keep on this Joaquin Phoenix, man. Holy, holy shit. If I keep talking, I'm going to have to go into spoilers. And I don't want to. It's got a few twists. It's got some things that they do in the movie that's... You didn't expect it, and you didn't see it coming. So, um, it's getting crazy out here. I'm not going to stay on here much longer. So, I'm giving this movie an A+. Plus, a 10 out of 10 for me. Again, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. But it's so good. It's so good. And yeah, like it. Um, you're going to get a lot more of these. Just me outside the theater. Just initial thoughts. Because I think it's good. It's raw. I, and I don't even remember. I, I tried this with A Star is Born. And I couldn't formulate a sentence. So I'm doing better than that already. Um, but yeah, in the comments, let me know what you thought of the movie. Did you like it? If you have seen it, would you go see it again? If you have a child, don't take your child to this movie. I will tell you that. But I'm Zach. I'm out. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.